So guys, let's look into uh, what main tasks are performed in bioinformatics. So as far as the solution towards biological problems are concerned. So first thing what we do most of the time is we, we do sequence comparisons. So uh, we take either protein sequences or DNA sequences and we compare with them. And our objective is to find the similarity and differences among those sequences. So while um, we are designing these algorithms, who should do, deal with this sequence analysis problem, uh, we should keep it in, into our mind that uh, these algorithms, they should accommodate deletions, insertions, or um, substitutions, etc. So the, the sequences, they may not be exactly same, but they might have some similarities with one another. As all these things, uh, they happen in nature, uh, the forces in evolution, they operate, so we have to accommodate all these forces. Uh, what next we do is uh, most of the time we also, uh, when we compare those sequences, we try to put them into phylogeny, uh, phylogenic trees uh, where we uh, try to find the evolutionary history uh, preserved on those sequences. So in order to do that, we do grouping of these sequences based upon the similarities and the differences. And mostly uh, we also do the uh, pattern searching in the sequences. So, for example, if you want to find a gene within a sequence, so there is a large, uh, huge sequence of DNA, the nucleotides running together, A, C's, T's, and G's. And now we want to find out where the genes are, are present. So we need to look upon some patterns. So those nucleotides, they 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 form some specific patterns in the neighborhoods uh, where of the of those genes are present. So uh, in order to search for genes uh, in the DNA and determining the subcomponents of amino acids, uh, we do these pattern finding jobs. So mostly the pattern finding methods are based on machine learning. Uh, there are probabilistic models and there are also neural networks they operate. Another task which is important is determining the 3D structure of the proteins uh, and obviously uh, when we do that, it seems like a computationally expensive task. So obviously we need high computing power for these kind of jobs. Uh, mostly the algorithms which deal with these structure prediction problems, uh, they have cubic complexities. So we'll talk them uh, what the algorithmic complexities in some later slides. So what happens here is uh, the inference of the shapes from the amino acids uh, still is a hard problem. So there is a lot of efforts going on in this area. Um, inferring the pattern of gene expression where we are mostly dealing with the um, transcriptions. Uh, so genes, uh, DNA, they, they transcribed into the RNA. So most of the studies related to transcription are uh, even the translation and the signaling pathways. So they are also tackled here in this area uh, of gene regulation. So. Uh, that's also another hot spot. Another important task in uh, bioinformatics is the determination of protein function and uh, the metabolic pathways where it plays an important role. So uh, it's one of the most challenging area. As you already know that uh, one gene uh, may be related to different functions and one function might have a large number of genes related with that. So the issue here is that uh, we might have many to many relationships among the entities. So obviously uh, that complicates the situation. Um, there is uh, obviously uh, a great effort going on in this area. So the people are trying to incorporate all the functional information into the databases and try to correlate those uh, genes with them. Another issue uh, nowadays since uh, genomic sequencing machines are there and they are generating the short read data. So sequences are uh, broken down into the smaller segments and then those segments are then sequenced. So then uh, you have to put those sequences together. So that thing is called as sequence assembly problem. So that is uh, also the big problem uh, which is already there in the market. So a lot of effort is going on and a lot of spending is going on uh, to uh, in order to assemble the genome from those short fragments. Uh, while uh, we are doing all those tasks, we obviously need to uh, connect with the internet and the scientists, they need to get their uh, 
data from different websites. So obviously that needs scripting. So there is a lot of uh, help which is needed uh, for s smart programmers to help them get their data. So mainly the scripting is done in programming languages like Python or Perl.